Alright, so today's story time, I think is a pretty insane one. I hope you enjoy this, let's jump right into it, leave a like if you enjoy it, and yeah, let's start. So this story time takes place in 2018, okay? Towards the end of 2018, this is right before 2019 started, and I was with a friend of mine, let's just call my friend Charles, okay? Now Charles was dating this girl at the time, who I had constantly warned him about when he started dating her, because I had her added on Facebook, and I would always see her post these statuses about her ex, and she would just act super insane, like she would threaten him, and just be super toxic on Facebook, and just threaten all these things, and it was a lot of concerning stuff, okay? Like, I could go on for hours about this. So I told him, when they first started dating, I'm like, yo, don't date this girl, she's bad news, like, please, man, look out for yourself. And he's like, bro, no, like, she was just angry when she posted those statuses, like, she's not like that anymore. I'm like, all right, man, like, fair enough, just look out for yourself, please. So, they dated for about two months, all right, and literally, like, a month after they started dating, he would come to my house and just rant about her. He'd be like, bro, you were right, like, she's insane, like, she's stealing stuff from me, she's doing this, she's doing that, like, he would just rant about all these different things she was doing that was wrong. And I'd always tell him, I'm like, bro, just break up with her, like, you can leave. He's like, nah, man, like, I love her. And I'm like, dude, it's been a month, like, if you walk away now, it'll be a lot easier than walking away in like a year from now and he would not listen to me he said that you know he loved her and that he thinks she'll get better and just he made excuses basically now one day me and him are sitting on his couch at his house like i said right before 2019 started end of 2018 sitting on his couch and he invites her over now every time she would come over to hang out with us i just wanted to leave because she would just get in arguments with us all the time whether it was with me or with him and i'd have to sit there and deal with it so she comes over, and of course, within five minutes, they get into some argument, and the reason they were arguing was super stupid. So basically, he was still following this girl that we went to school with years ago, and he never unfollowed her because they're friends, and she was trying to make him unfollow this girl, and he wasn't doing it because they were good friends. He's like, no, like, I'm friends with her, we went to school together, we're just friends, like, she's dating somebody, I'm dating somebody, we're just friends. And she wasn't having it. She's like, no, unfollow her right now. If you love me and I'm your girlfriend, you need to unfollow her. And he wasn't listening. So they started getting real, real loud. They were screaming at each other. She pushed him off the couch at one point, which was just really messed up. So I say it. I'm like, yo, you guys need to stop. Like, all you do is argue. Like, I haven't seen you not argue for one day. You either need to get, like, professional help to make you guys stop arguing, or you need to break up. Like, no joke. You guys are just both so toxic for each other. Seriously. Like, you just pushed my friend off the couch. You're screaming at each other. Like, what part of this is love? And they were just both angry at me, and they start yelling at me now. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. So I stand up, and I go over to the door, and I start putting my shoes on. And my friend walks over with me, and he goes, I'm going with you. And I look at him. I'm like, what, bro? Like, this is your apartment. Like, why are you coming with me? And he's like, I don't want to deal with her. And she hears him say that, of course, because, you know, the door's right there. And she walks over angrily, and she's like, where are you going? And he's like, I'm going out with Austin. You can hang here till I'm back. She goes, no, I'm coming with you guys. And I'm like, oh my god, can both of you just stay here and then I can leave? And my friend's like, nah, I'm coming with you. And he puts on his shoes and he goes to leave. And all of a sudden I hear her go, if you walk out of that door, Charles, I swear on everything you love, I will stab you in the feet with a knife. And when I heard that, I was like, alright, yo, like you guys need to actually break up now. Like, what? And he goes, okay, do it. So I get in between them. I'm like, yo, no, don't do it. Charles, shut up. Don't challenge her to stab you. And then she runs over to her backpack and she pulls out a pocket knife and she goes, say I won't do it. Say I won't. And at this point, I'm just terrified. I'm like, yo, I thought this was just like them talking shit. Now I'm between these two crazy people and one of them has a pocket knife. Like, this is not how I imagined my day going. And she goes, Austin, move out of the way. I'm like, no. And he just goes, do it. If you love me, you won't do it. And not even a second later, she pushes me out of the way and drops to the ground with his pocket knife, inserting it into my friend's shoe. Yep, my friend took a knife to the foot. I can't lie, at this point, I actually thought I was dreaming. My friend looks down, sees it, and just goes, ah, oh, what the fuck? And he starts screaming, like, just loud as hell. And I'm like, oh, no. So me and my friend quickly start running to the elevators to get downstairs and get to my friend's car so we can get to the hospital. And this whole time, this girl is chasing us, going, oh my god, Charles, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it. I'm like, yo, you need to get the fuck out of here. So we get to my friend's car, I tell her she's not coming, my friend jumps in the driver's seat, I tell him that I can drive, and he's like, nah man, I got it. Like, even with a knife in his foot, he was insisting on driving that car himself. And we got to the hospital, like, a few minutes later, he lived right down the street from one, which was very lucky. We got inside, they immediately took him into the ER, 
And to his luck, his extreme luck, he was wearing these really thick skating shoes, like those old, like 2009 style skating shoes. And she hit the side of his foot with the knife and there was a ton of layering and plastic. So it barely went through and it basically grazed his foot. There was a wound and it needed very minor stitching, but he got so lucky because it could have been like a huge, huge deal that needed like surgery. And that wasn't the case. I can't lie, I kind of assumed he would be okay, because when we were going to his car, he was basically running full speed with that in his foot, so I assumed he was mostly okay, but it was still super serious, like when they took it out of his foot and took his shoe off, let's just say it didn't look like a paper cut, okay? So yeah, anyway, they stitched him up, they put a little bandage over it, they gave him some medicine, and they also gave him some crutches to go home with, and they basically told him not to walk on it for a bit, let it heal up fully, and then he should be good to go. They also told him to break up with the girl that did this to him, and you know, rightfully so. So anyway, yeah, we get back in his car after leaving the hospital, we drive home, we get home, and can you guess who's still there? Yes, his girlfriend. She's just sitting on the couch, eating my friend's food, like nothing ever happened. Keep in mind, she never texted him or called him once at the hospital. So yeah, we get inside, and she looks over the couch and sees us, and she goes, Hey, what happened? Not a sorry. Not a, are you okay, Charles? No, just a, hey, what happened? And Charles goes, well, what you did to my foot required stitches, so they stitched me up, and now I can't walk on it for a few days. And she goes, sorry, Charles. And he goes, oh, don't sound so genuine. And I shit you not, she says, well, next time, don't challenge me. And I just couldn't take it anymore. Like, my friend was being way too nice. So I was like, listen, you have one minute to get your backpack and leave this apartment, or I'm going to call the police and tell them what you did to Charles, and you could go to jail. And she goes, Austin, this is between me and Charles. I'm like, no, like, I just witnessed it happen. I was in between you guys before you did what you did, so I think I'm involved too. So please, get out. And my friend goes, yeah, you should probably listen to Austin. And she's like, really, Charles? And he's like, yeah, listen to Austin. And she goes, are you serious? I can't believe you. So she grabs her backpack, gathers her things, and starts walking towards the front door. And she just gave us a super dirty look and then left out the front door. And then my friend looks at me and just goes, oh no, she forgot something. And he pulled out the knife that the doctors pulled out of his shoe, cleaned, and then gave back to him before he left. So yeah, like 15 minutes later, he called her after she got home and broke up with her on the phone and said that he never wanted to see her again. And he actually kept her pocket knife as a reminder to never get back together with her. And he also said he wanted one to open his packages. So yeah, in the end, everybody was okay. That's what matters. Moral of the story is, do not be like her. Like seriously, stay out of toxic relationships and don't act like she did. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story time. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace. Cut ties, move